It's taken me a little while to get this lighting correct. It's really not easy. So you guys can see. This is where we left off at the table in the last episode. Beautiful artwork, this stone art. Super nice stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and move him up just a bit. Maybe. Change the shadows a little bit. See how that matter of one degree. We have a great show for you guys today. So thanks for hanging out. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few. This is gonna be pretty incredible, guys. It's not very often. But every now and then. You guys look into the middle of your screen here, you will see a carving of an eye with uh, red paint all around it. You can see the perfect Egyptian style eye, I hope. Let me go ahead and get something so that I can point at it with you. Or look at it with you and point at it for you. I'm trying to get something to I can't get anything out. Jeez. Don't have a stick or anything. I'm sorry. I'm unprepared. Well, can use, I can use my grotesquely long fingernail to show you. If you can't see it, you can't see that eye in there. Uh, I understand. But... <laughs> If you can see the eye, look for the face. Where's the face at? All I do see is the eye. I don't see really a face until you tilt it all the way over. So, interesting piece. This one's a super high level one. And it's hard to make out. This is a really neat, very well preserved gateway artifact. And just to kind of show you the a few of the profiles that are on it, you'll be able to start to see. The color on this is fantastic. And the preservation is outstanding at this site. It has a lot of really neat characters on the ends here. And like I said, I've been messing with the light quite a bit, trying to get the perfect light, but you can't get it all. You can't get both left sides and right sides. You have to move your light around. So. For now, I'll just show you this blackened, darkened, uh, painted, complex art here that's nearly impossible for us to decipher just yet. So I wanted to show you just a few of the, the very defined ones that have these darkened colors. This one actually has a petroglyph on the end of it. It's the petroglyph of a bird man. You can see at his head there how his little snout is sticking out and how he has this little crest coming up, this orange crest. You can see a snout there. You see how his, his two wings are left and right, probably. He's just standing there with some other birds, it looks like, perhaps, around him. Really neat stone artifact. And this one has an incredible painted eye. Of course, we can see a few of the images or profiles coming out. The paint on this is really awesome, the way it's kind of like a turtle. And for the wonderful human silhouette here at the bottom, we 
we can go ahead and zoom in on her eye there. There it is. You can see how that diamond there with the circle inside of it. And as we zoom out, we'll be able to make the perfect pro profile and portrait come out. Kind of like that. So you see, of course, the longest point is being the nose of the character below. And then, you know, you see a nose up here, of course, of a probably easier to see human figure pointing up at the top. And that's the way this ancient American art is. Super neat. What else we got? Show you this one here. This one has, again, a, a very great defined eye for its face. A lot of these are just characters. So we're looking for the little ripple for the lip, the nose, and of course you can see the eye carving very defined there. And again, I'll move this one around for us so we can take a little bit of a different look at it in different shadows and in different lights. All right. It's a very nice one. But without going too deep in any individual one, let's go ahead and get to the main one for the video here today. And that is, <laughs> pardon my bird here, that is this big mammoth effigy. Uh, also has human faces here pointing to the right, you can see. Well, let's focus on this big mammoth at first. You can see here how we have a, a large mammoth trunk, the carving for the eye, and how the ear is uh, actually you know, carved and folded back here. So this whole thing right here is the ear. And I'm having to kind of stretch out a little bit just to show you, but you can see how when you move around here, it's just a big stone representation of a mammoth. And on this right-hand side of it, we have a silhouette of a human being. And looking into the etchings and the, the details of this, you'll see a few different eyes and perhaps even a few different silhouettes. So we're gonna have a silhouette down here at this section, and we're gonna have another silhouette over here at this section and everywhere in between. So the elephant turns into the lady's hair. You can see how the braid of hair perhaps is coming back here. This is a very nice one. You know, but the, uh, everyone's like, where are the tool marks? And these are the tool marks here. On this fella here, we have a meme, an ancient meme of a character. We have his long nose poking out. If you look on his hat, you can see the swirls on his hat. He has a hat that's coming across here and he does have handles so that I can hold him underneath just like that. And I'll try to change the distance a little bit so that you can see how the hat is done there on this character. Let me go ahead and get down so that we can get some more light on him. He comes out better in different lights. This lighting isn't perfect for him, but um, he has his poke note, poked out nose here and he is just a, a character on the back of this elephant, which also has the female here. Awesome. Guys, that was really quick. I might just do a better version of this. This was just kind of maybe take one. So uh, see you on the next one. Thank you, bye.